Hey right, guys, it is the raw wrap up. Thank you, Riz, for stepping on that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Riz. Uh, it is the Raw Wrap-Up here. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Uh, I am in the Mayhem Studios here in Pittsburgh, PA, and uh, we're back on Blab. We're going to see if some people jump in here and join us and talk with us about WWE Raw and what a WWE Raw it was for this week, Fatal 4-Way Edition. And uh, with me from Poughkeepsie, New York, it is Mad Mike. Hi, Sorg. How are you today? Hi, Mad Mike. How you doing? Ah, uh, not too bad, not too bad. And also with us on the line is the <laughs> Riz. Uh, sixty-nine stars, Sorg. Oh, jeez. Oh, I did that. 60, I did that. Sixty-nine. So, anyways, mainstream Matt. Matt, if you want to join us, go ahead. The seat is open. If you are available and the kids are in bed, uh, you can completely do that. But, anyways, uh, no, go check out everything at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. If you're checking us out, video, audio, wherever you it may be, uh, you subscribe ah, to us on audio, video dark. formats, and uh, please check out our friends, indie wrestling.us slash on broadway.com you can check us out pro wrestling.com slash wms and if you like this stuff or at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show we do have a slight bit of echo so uh riz if you can uh, mind your mute a little bit there as we roll through this uh it's live baby it's live mm-hmm. so and we're, we'll roll with that mainstream matt our friend of the mainstream media looks like he's going to be joining us as well here and there he is on the line how you doing matt Yes, Bleb. Yes. Yes. Do whatever you want. Take my microphone. Take my camera. Yes. Yes. Accept. <laughs> Control my life. My A little liver. bit of yes. growing pain. We're liver. trying yes. these new formats, but you know how it is. Uh, I love um, it. So let's go, let's go around. Well, first, what, what do we talk about? We, the, the, the biggest thing for the night was this tournament for the Fatal 4-Way for the next number one contender. Um, I think we were pretty unanimous from at least the discussions we were having to hang out. Matt, you weren't part of that, uh, but you seem pretty excited on the Twitter from what I, I, I saw. What a collection of matches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good and stuff, they were good huh? matches, too. Yeah. Uh, this this post-Cena world doesn't look too bad all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. They had not, not much to really get mad about. And, and even, like, I didn't think any of the winners were really obvious, except for maybe Roman Reigns. For the most mm. part, uh, at least going into the Fatal Four Way, I thought once Roman Reigns won, most of the winners became obvious. I I didn't think there was any chance that no. poor Neville was going to beat Del Rio, but <laughs> yeah, oh exactly. no, no, obviously that was, that not with that. that. But but it's not as poor as bad as we put this guy against Zack Ryder. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I mean, beat the shot, beat the clock challenge the against Zack Ryder. I mean that that we put everybody. These were all people coming off of wins last night. Yeah, it's a novel concept. If you win matches, you might actually maybe get a shot at a championship. Oh, there you go. <laughs> exactly. Like I thought that was that was pretty nice the way that kind of formulated and uh, the losers match and and how that that really kind of uh, uh, you know lit a fire under those six guys. Say, hey, you you the guys that lost last night. Here you go. Here's your consolation six man tag to get on the show. You know. You, you know it would have been amazing though hmm. if right after Reigns came out and all four guys were in the ring. Then all of a sudden you just heard Lesnar's theme music. <laughs> and he just obliterates like, everybody. Like, and Paul Heyman says, somebody else won last night, too. <laughs> well, granted, not everybody's dinner. Cena wasn't part of the loser's circle. He just kind of has unceremoniously disappeared after last night, which uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. There, like, there's no, there wasn't no injury coming out of that match or anything, was there? No. Nope. So, Maybe there should have been, but... Maybe they should have made one up. Well, I mean, you have a guy who is notorious for slapping on arm submission and then not letting go even after the bell rings. So (laughs) they could even um, I know I'm stealing this from somebody else I was listening to today that they thought um, they could have very easily just done a concussion angle. And then you get a little extra heat on Del Rio's uh, little kick there. I don't know if Del Rio is supposed to be a heel. I don't know if Del Rio is supposed to be a heel. Yeah, well, he wasn't tonight, was he? Nope. No, and he wasn't really last night. It's a very odd circumstance that See, he's in. I kind of led towards him being more heelish in that main event, teaming up with Owens at least. Yeah, they were, they were definitely, when they paired off, Del like, Rio was definitely on the... I think I if so. anything is kind of tweener, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what this new gimmick, what exactly they're trying to do 
with it because it, it, it's this this Mexa America thing. I'm trying to figure out who they're trying to piss off versus who they're trying to get on their side. Like obviously, I mean, uh, you know, you have Del Rio back. Uh, that's very much a play, especially in California, the places they've been over this weekend with the pay per view. Uh, it's a very Latino play. Right. And then you have Zeb, Zeb coming around. Like, I feel like they're just trying to piss off Donald Trump. I feel like they're oh, just they trying are. to piss off Del Rio. It's, that's <laughs> true. Like, I like, no, like, I feel like, like, again, like Del Rio coming back is awesome. He's back. That was a big surprise. I, I didn't see it coming. We'll see what happens. But this Mexica, Mexa America weird thing with Zeb um, um, Del Rio uh, is not as impressive to me as. Uh, Alberto Paltron in, Paltron in um, um, Lucha Underground. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, not everything. Lucha Underground is very well structured. Like, WWE is not. No, 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 no. Very, very seat of our pants, it seems, up, up there. So, but anyways, um, I thought that was great. I thought our matches were great. Um, I, I thought uh, the tag match was great. The women, um, a lot happening with the women. At first, it was like, oh, great, another uh, six-woman tag. But we did actually have something come out of it. I'm liking Paige finally breaks. Can we finally get our Paige and Charlotte uh, title match at the at the Survivor Series? And can it please just burn the house down and bring us some 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 NXT quality matches uh, to the pay per views? Though I think Hell in a Cell, we had really close to that. Not close, but strides. No, it's okay. You could say it. Nikki and Charlotte had a hell of a match at Hell in a Cell. They did. They absolutely did. You will not. Have your IWC card taken away for that? Oh, so thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that. I mean, it's no Britt Baker and Marty Bell, but what? <laughs> hey, <you know. laughs> hey, <Indie Yeah>. wrestling.us. <laughs> you can pick that up for a dollar ninety nine. Uh, but anyways, got my plugs in. Um, but 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 I, I I thought you know sad we're down to one ladies match and no Sasha Banks as we were talking about in the hangout. Um, <clears throat> we're in that people get it, are are getting cycled through, and we're kind of wondering where they're popping up. This is one of those like, well, where's Cesaro been other than jobbing on Raw? He's been having great main event matches on Superstars and main event. Go watch. Nobody watches that. Now, well, I do when I'm tired on a Friday night, and <laughs> and that's what's on, right? And I just kind of roll with it because it's on, mm-hmm. um, and I'm just dozing off in the chair, and I wake up later during the same show and think it's only 15 minutes later when it's actually two to three hours. It was a rough see, I look at that like I look at the Ring of Honor shows that aren't um, storyline driven. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, this is great wrestling, but ultimately means nothing. Well, yeah, and that's, I mean, it's like superstars. It's like these are the, the whatever matches, but at least these guys are out there doing something. Mm-hmm. And that means something in some market, you know? I mean, I, I, I mean I, I'm the kid that got superstars on Sunday morning because I couldn't get raw. Somebody out there has superstars on some network, I don't know, and they can't watch Raw because it's too late at night or something like that. You know, I mean, there's, it, it is inaccessible to some people, and it is filling you in on that, you know, for whatever reason. It's another access point, and it has you know, per, some pretty okay matches, actually. So, and, Well, um, can we talk about my favorite part of the night? What's that? Sword? Um, heels finally uh faces finally getting their comeuppance for being idiots oh your duddy dudley boy scenario yes mm-hmm. yes the the dudley boys and ryback they were firmly in control of a match but because faces are idiots mm-hmm. they decided to call for tables in a match that wasn't over and wade barrett rolled up of ray dudley for a three count and i'm like oh that's how logic works in wrestling and it's perfect it was fantastic it was good to watch. It was good television. It, it was. It, it it was a nice uh, distraction there, and uh, and 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 that's great. And, and beyond that, I think uh, the Wyatts have been just remarkable the last twenty four hours. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if this is going to be a thing where, like, we get like maybe a couple months of someone new keeps trying to rescue the Undertaker and ends up getting kidnapped themselves. Until oh, we've got like, like, the, know, like a dozen Survivor Series coming up, hmm? I I hope I hope they someone tries to rescue the Undertaker, and it's just Kane says, "Sorry, your phenom is in our castle." I hope yeah. this ends up in a in a return to Vader's White Castle of Doom. <laughs> God, but it's in the Bayou in New Orleans for some reason. Why it's White Castle of Doom? Why it's 
Wyatt's Shack of Doom. The Wyatt's Outhouse of Doom. Ooh, Wyatt's Outhouse of Doom. I'm uh, but it, it is, it is, it's kind of cool. I was kind of hoping that the Undertaker was going to join the Wyatt family <laughs> after they abducted him, but I think asking for the Undertaker and Kane to join the Wyatt family is definitely asking for too much. And well, I have the no Wyatts clue where this have is done going. this to the Kane before, though. They have. Yeah. yeah so like, and that that led to nothing. Well, no, it led to Kane wearing a pantsuit for <laughs> for months. That's true. That, that, that really Glenn. changed his life. That really changed his life. And I really think, um, I, I, I said, my one theory, I, I put this on Twitter earlier today. I hope we just like end up with Manchurian Kane because uh, they did something to him back then. And, and it just comes around and, and he turns on his brother or something. Um, I, I have a question, though. Who is going to be the one to look for Taker and Kane? Leslie Nelson's already You're kind done, of so. out of people to go searching for them. Yeah. Nelson, Mick Foley. I, I was saying like Mick Foley should I, just like come back and look for him. I want. I I don't know why. I want Brock and Paul Heyman to do like a buddy cop thing <laughs> where they're like investigating like different bodies. Detectives. Yeah, like CSI New Orleans. Like they're lo- <laughs> they're looking for Bray Wyatt's creepy mind control bayou swamp. Like I don't, I don't know. I unless we just have a segment like that's real old school Attitude Era, where Bray is like in a in a giant rocking chair throne, trying to like and Taker has all wires connected to him. He's like, I'm absorbing the power of the Undertaker. <laughs> like like it's the end of Batman Forever or something. Like I don't know something where where uh, I was telling you guys like like he needs to like drink from his urn to to get the Undertaker's power. And what if like why it, it like does like get the undertaker's power and now he's throwing lightning at people you know or or whatever or i don't know it, it could be it could be really interesting i i i hope i mean what they really need to do is kind of pass that torch of like this is the weird crazy guy that is not just another mm-hmm. falter even though like taker has and to that's... win taker has to win a survivor series you know because it's the 25th anniversary of undertaker does he well, we got to do he, something. Does he really have to win on something? I would hope so. Or Survivor Series? Well, well Riz, didn't you have, Riz, didn't you have the casket scenario? Yeah. Or was it, yeah well, tell us the casket scenario. Like, like We're all discussing that it, it it's going to probably be a Survivor Series style match. But I, I think it might be just a straight up either casket match or buried alive match. Two of the matches that that are very gimmicky towards the undertaker that the undertaker really doesn't do too well in. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah you do. He did bring up the, 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 uh, Hell in a Cell factor and he wasn't too good in that one either, but, um, no, he won six. No, he's, he won, he won six. six. He's tied with triple H with six. Yeah. I don't know how many he's, been. um, but, but just having a match like that and having, it puts over Bray Wyatt if he wins, or if he loses, who knows? Uh, but, <laughs> but like we said, he needs to win somehow. Like his credibility has t- taken a dive. How many times from now? He has resurrected how many times now? Mm-hmm. So are we talking about the Undertaker? No, Bray Wyatt. No, Bray. Bray Wyatt doesn't lose that much. Bray Wyatt loses a lot. Bray Wyatt has lost. He has now lost three televised singles matches since WrestleMania. On, on television. That's right. What about... House shows uh, don't count. No one watches those. What about on pay-per-view? Pay-per-views are on television, right? Which... And he also doesn't wrestle a lot. No, no. So... He comes out, well, kidnaps people, attacks people, uh, yeah. talks. And, and, and that's he fine. I like that. I like that He doesn't do jobber him. matches. He comes out, becomes, like establishes himself as a threat. And says he's going to do all this stuff, and then there's a and match. then loses. Why we loses the guy? The good guy has to always win. I'm not getting into this conversation again. The good guy does not have to always. He always have to win. The way Seth they're booking, Rol- yes, he does. The- Seth Rollins just won his feud with Kane. Right. So the good guy doesn't always have to win. You have to have a <clears throat> believable bad guy for your good guy wins. Because they're not, build, the because they're not building Wyatt that way. There's there's the long build like they do with Seth. So whenever somebody finally topples Seth, it's going to be a huge thing. Like, One of they, the best they, they took forever to, to build Rusev. How long did Rusev just run roughshod over everybody 
until finally being toppled at Romania. And so we have a nice. big thing where he comes out on a freaking tank and it's, it's, it's tremendous, you know, and, 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 and we get the super Cena all over San Francisco. Okay. Uh, but one of the best feuds was ended at WrestleMania by a heel. Brett V. Owen. Mm-hmm. That feud well, ended at WrestleMania. Well, no, it didn't. No, because it didn't. O- Owen, didn't. Owen wrestled Brett at SummerSlam the next year. Yeah. But, I mean, Triple H was a heel all the time and won. Triple H was the first heel to retain his title at WrestleMania. The why it's not set up in the same way. He, he's a he's a Papa Shango. He's a so Mortar that's, that's guy. Not a, that's not a good he model to be based on. <laughs> That's not a good model to be based did on. Call, that, did you just call him Mordecai? You might be. Is Mordecai. that what I just heard? Like he's, a, he's, Mor- like, he's what they wanted Mordecai to be. You know, uh, he's, what, he's what Vince wanted Waylon Mercy to be. Yeah, I was oh, gonna say you wow. might as well just call him Waylon Mercy at this point. All right. On that note, anything else? Anything last of things you want to say about Raw before we get out of here for tonight? I have one more thing to say. Mm-hmm. The upset of the night on Raw, Dean and Roman are still friends. Mm-hmm. Not yet. Not it, yet. It hasn't uh, happened yet. Matt, Matt, we're still uh, you, friends. Matt, you weren't in the hangout. Th- this is what's gonna happen. Dean's gonna accidentally cost Roman the match at Survivor Series, and we're gonna get our Shield three-way TLC style in December. Well, mm-hmm. that may that may very well like that, 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 we're gonna have. He didn't turn tonight. We're gonna have one so of our mayhem mania lives. matches, aren't we? Mm-hmm. We are. Wait, was that a Mayhem Mania match? I think it might have been, at least for a little bit. Yeah, for a <laughs> while, it was the Shield. Mm-hmm. Go check the archives. Well, I folks. can't wait for um, Mayhem Mania to come back. Come back. I hope but yeah, it, it, it was a good Raw. Like it wasn't. It wasn't the best. It wasn't you know top notch. It was a good lead in, like just to get your feet wet of what's was- to come. For Survivor Series, I felt like it was very even tempered raw. Like it wasn't, there was, there weren't like as big a peaks. There, were parts there weren't as parts. many peaks and valleys as you usually get on raw, which is mostly valleys. Uh, but it was just mm-hmm. like, oh, this is all right. Okay, this yeah, is all right. This is all right. Yeah. You know, there was a, yeah, you, there was a good build to the entire three hours consistently mm-hmm. because I mean, well, most of the matches were all building this tournament. And uh, I hey, thought, I thought it was really good, bad. really cohesive. And, and it's, it's almost like when Raw focuses on a theme and sticks to that instead of trying to plug big stars. Exactly. They have a they have a better show. We didn't have any That's right, yeah. we didn't have any veterans out there. We didn't have any John Cena's or Randy Orton's. It was just and these were your Yeah, this this is what you were you were saying on the hangout, Sorg. Mm-hmm. It like, was Sorg, it, it, you didn't have your raw nap. I did not have my raw nap. No, I did not have my raw nap. I did. Take, and that, that's I did what, that's how we judge things now. I did take a raw pre-show nap, though, to try to. Well, nobody cares about the, the pre-show. raw pre-show is a nap, sword. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Renee. <laughs> the, the, the the raw the raw pre-show is nap time. Mm-hmm. Renee Young is not on the raw pre-show. Who, who's on the raw? Re- I don't even know who's on the raw pre-show. I can't anymore. even believe this. Okay, who's sorry. on the raw pre-show? Scott Stanford. And Corey no. Graves and Otunga, who have the greatest and chemistry Otunga. out of any three people in the WWE. I think they have a better chemistry than any uh, three-man team uh, at ringside. Three-man band. Sorg, um, that is wrong. You clearly did not hear the three-man team on NXT Kids. They had incredible banter. I'm not. I'm just saying they did. Where did you find were, NXT Kids? Did it leak out or something? The the pilot leaked out. It's oh, very good. Geez, it's very, very good. It's it's fantastic. I'm I'm looking forward to NXT kids. It's like you got your Saturday morning slam in my NXT, and it's two great tastes that taste great together. And maybe a little Enzo and Cass. All right. All hey, right. While we're mentioning great raw wrap up, by the way, guys. While we're mentioning NXT, cheap plug for around the indies at indiewrestling.us. Go check it out. You will see a grown man cosplay as Sasha Banks. Worth yeah, the price I, I saw that this week. And and. and one of the things they were doing on Raw, if I may, sort, was uh, promoting a, a certain game, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So stay tuned to Risk Plays Games. I'll play that game. I'll play Ro- WWE 2K16. Where do they find Risk Plays Games? On YouTube. And in SirCoinToBeacon.com. There you go. There you go. There you go. And, of course, <laughs> at MedMike4883 on See, the Twitter. That's how you do it. He does and the- join... Midweek war every week. Yeah, we're gonna have Smojo and Tyler Breeze this week. 
something's going to happen on Ring of Honor, and I'm going to get mad about Impact, and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> he I like how we that. all had that little lead-in. You know, watch that we, stuff. We he all had knows. our own like, button point. There you go. And it, it, it was cool. Good job, guys. Uh, you can also check out everything at SorgatronMedia.com. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this uh, Sawtooth Willie thing that's happening over there, so go please check that out. Look for Sawtooth Willie on the uh, on the YouTube and the Facebook as well to watch those videos. And, of course, uh, Sorgatron.com uh, is my bloggy blog. And, uh, and, and like I said, check out IndieWrestling.us, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Uh, check out the patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Please uh, become a supporter if you're really digging the stuff that we're doing. And uh, keep an eye out here. Sometimes we're on the Hangout streaming. Sometimes we're over here on blab.im. Uh, we're kind of experimenting with stuff a little bit. Uh, so let us know feedback. What do you think? Is this the blab work versus the other show or the other, the other platform or whatever the case may be? Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, everybody, for being here on the blab. And we'll see you guys next time. A Wrestling Mayhem Show, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. We'll see you.